Animal ER Live. It's the new Nat Geo Wild Show giving viewers unprecedented access to seven different animal clinics around the country, all in real time. And I sat down with host Mark Steinis to talk about the Cutting Edge program. What we're looking at, see right here? Those are the little little rubber parts of the nylabone that I don't think they're gonna be able to pull that out with the scope. Animals in the ER. This fast-paced show will have viewers on the edge of their seats. Now, it's not of the pain and heart to watch this because sometimes you're seeing the actual surgical procedure take place. Sure. But I always want to remind the viewers that these doctors are healing the hurt, and that's what's really happening. I know, I'm sorry. Remote cameras are set up in animal hospitals to equine centers from Massachusetts, Oregon, Illinois, Utah, California, Texas, and South Carolina to catch all the behind the scenes drama. Describe your role on the show as the host. What are you essentially helping Air the viewers do? Air traffic control. <laughs> okay. That's what I am doing. Low stress. I am telling you, yes. There are so many feeds coming in. There's people talking in my ear telling me what we've got coming in, whether we have a snake that has come in somewhere, a hummingbird that has landed. Mark Steinus is based in the New York studio with two animal experts who provide analysis and guidance to viewers as they watch each emotional procedure. What's the prognosis? The prognosis is excellent. The good thing is puppies, kittens, they heal so quickly. And the good thing is this dog doesn't actually need surgery. What sort of animals can, can people expect to see on the show? Everything. We have had um, from miniature horses to full-grown horses, cats, dogs. We've had snakes. We've had birds. We've had a bearded dragon come on the show. What is a bearded dragon? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> Animal ER Live airs Saturday and Sunday nights for the next three weeks on Nat Geo Wild at 9 p.m.